guys, it's Megan. I'm back. I'm doing a drugstore first impressions and I've already primed my face. So first off, I'm going to start with the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. I tried this uh, several years ago and I don't know why I haven't been using it because I actually really liked it. And um, this is probably a bit too dark for me, but that's okay because we're going to lighten it up with some concealer. And um, it goes on really smooth. It feels like velvet on my skin, and that's one of the reasons I really liked it, and I picked it up again, and I had a coupon for it, so that always helps. I don't know if it's long wearing, but I can definitely let you guys know in the comments section below how it wears throughout the day. I'm all about the long wearing makeup because they never get a chance to touch up my makeup during the day. Unless it's like lipstick or, you know, powder. And I'm just using a beauty sponge. I got this from CVS. It's from the Beauty 360 brand. I don't think they were that expensive either. It was like less than $4 for a really big bag. And they frequently um, put coupons in their ads, um, their app for Beauty 360. wearing the color porcelain ivory light one then for concealer I've seen this a few times at the drugstore it's called the covergirl outlast all day concealer but I thought I'd give it a try I'm wearing the color 810 fair and it's kind of got like this little sponge on the end of it so I'm just applying a little bit of pressure Some redness on my forehead. I did have some breakouts there. Just go back in with my beauty sponge. It's definitely not watery. I like that. It's got a nice, thick, creamy consistency. It seems to be a right match for my complexion. And it's not wiping away any of the foundation, so that's good. Then I'm going to go in with powder, and I'm using the Alme Smart Shade, and this is the Loose Finishing Powder. And I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. This is number 124. Just kind of set everything. This brush is so soft. I guess this powder is supposed to like set to your natural complexion. So that's good. We like that. I usually buy the Cody Airspun, but 
I didn't see it at the store this time, so I got this instead. I know Kroger carries it, so next time we go to Kroger, I'll have to pick it up. Okay. So next, I'm going to do... My blush, and I'm kind of going to do the blush and contouring in one. I got this um, Physician's Formula. It's like a blush, but it's kind of like a contouring. Also, it says Blushing Natural Powder Palette Multicolored Blush. It's kind of like a rust colored. It's kind of lighter on camera than it is in person. I just like how it gives me a natural flush. If I put too much bronzer on, it tends to make my face look dirty. So lately, I have just haven't been using it a whole lot, so that's why I picked up this rust color, because I can just kind of like use it for everything, you know? It can just kind of warm up my whole complexion. Next, I'm going to do brows. And I've, this I've actually used before, so this is not a first impression. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist. I'm just going to kind of comb out my brows. And as you guys know, I do have tremors. If you haven't watched my pre previous videos, um, I do have PTSD. I was born with tremors, but it um, it's gotten worse since I got back from my rack. So, um, if I have to rest my hand on my face, bear with me. I just like to outline it and kind of fill it in. I do have really light blonde hair and my brows naturally, so... I don't like to do anything like overdone when it comes to my brows. Just get the tail. I hate brows. It's like the worst part for me. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of this like blush contour again and then I'm just going to put it in my crease, kind of use it for a transition shade. And just use windshield wiper type motions. And this is a Real Techniques like fluffy crease brush. I love it. This really upped my um, blending game when I bought these Real Techniques brushes. I mean, they're freaking amazing. Like, I was using uh, Wet n Wild brushes before, and not to say that Wet n Wild brushes are bad because I do love their foundation brushes, but these Real Techniques crease brushes, like, you get so much more blendability with these, I think. Okay, and then I just got this uh, single shadow from L'Oreal. It's like a light, like pearly type blue. And I actually just dropped my brush. Let me pick that up. And this is a Wet n Wild. This is the, like the, I just like use it to pack on the, um, the lid color. So I'm just going to use that.
You can use your finger too if you don't have one of these flat brushes. And I'm sorry if you can hear my stomach. My stomach is growling. I have not eaten lunch yet. look really good in the cool tone shadows like um, I like coral colors and like the natural looking shadow looks too but every once in a while it's nice to add some color you know it really makes my brown eyes like really pop and I'm getting like no fallout from this eyeshadow this is the just the little single shadow. Okay. What did I do? Oh. And then this is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips um, Eyeliner. And I'm just going to put it in my waterline. And it's in the color blue. And then I'm going to go like halfway in on top. Kind of go for that cat eye. I was watching one of Pixie Woo's videos and um, they were showing how to do like an Angelina Jolie type um, eye and that, that's how they did it. They went in like halfway and I was like, oh, because I love how Angelina Jolie does her eye makeup. It looks so pretty. And then this is the Total Temptation new Maybelline mascara. I uh, just picked this up. And um, I've seen all the beauty gurus trying it out, so I thought I'd try it out too. Unfortunately, I have not mastered the um, wing eyeliner thing. I've, oh, I just made a mistake right there. It's definitely something that's like hit or miss with me and it's a lot harder when I have tremors. I guess I need to get one of those vamp stamps. Have you guys ever tried those? I don't know. What is your hardest thing to master? Leave a comment down below. I like the mascara. I mean, it's nice. It's so hard for me to do my bottom lashes without hitting my eye because my hands are just like so shaky. Okay, and then for my lips, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild, excuse me, Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit, and this is in the color Rebel Rose, Rebel Rose.
And then over that, I'm going to use the color Sinless number 544. And this is just a gloss. And this is also by Wet n Wild. I've never used this color before. It's kind of like a lilac color. pretty and then for highlighter um, I just got this L'Oreal true match Lumi and I'm just going to use that with my finger put a little bit on my nose up here Cupid's bow on my forehead. It's definitely not like a blinding highlight, but it's pretty. Um, okay. And this is my finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And leave me a thumbs up and please subscribe. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.